this is MB text and in today I'm going to show you how to verify phone numbers in your website or in your web application by using an API layer so now I'm going to create a simple project for you now and I have to open my ID for the video on how to create a project with a Spring Initializer or a Maven, I created and you can watch in my channel. So I name my project as number number verification. You can see now my IntelliJ ID have been opened with the default files that have been created. That is the configuration for the ID and this is a source folder contain files and the default class that have been created. This is of course if you create a project with a Maven, if you create a project with a Maven plugin you have to create a package and you have to create a class inside it that contains the main method because no default class can be created with this but if you want to get some default configuration have been set for you you have to use a split initializer so I created a package here com.me text dot number verification assume assume I have now I have to create class in this package and this class is where I'm going to do my implementation and this class will contain the main method that is the entry point of my application I have to create the main method inside this class. So before going further, we have to add some configuration in our POM file. In this file D is used to define our project structure. And in this file it's where dependence I'm defining the dependencies here where the Marvel plugin is going to download the dependencies into my project. Because it is a Spring Boot project, I have to define these dependencies. This is Spring Boot starter parent. And in this Parent, I have to define the version because in the other dependencies, if I don't define the version, then the default version will be fetched from this parent version. So I don't need to define dependencies in other dependencies. In Spring Boot project, we have also to add the. We have to define the configuration for the plugin, and this configuration is defined in the build tag, and, and in the build tag we have to define plugin and plugins. Inside the plugin, you have to specify the plugin that you are going to use in your project. In my project, I'm using Spring Boot. Marvin plugin. But my friend, if you know how to do this step, you can skip to the to to, to the place where you you prefer to watch. 
and if you don't know how to get the project in Morgan, you have to watch this step also. Now I refresh it so that Morgan is going to import the dependencies in my project and the configuration are being set with this Morgan plugin. And you can see now. It's a Spring Boot application here that is the Marvin will understand that when it run it should Spring Boot this class In order to put swap our application, you have to define this method inside the Spring application class. And this method is called the run, and this run class will put swap our application. The parameters inside this are arguments, and the class itself that is going to be bootstrap. I have to implement another command I learn because I want to display everything in my command line. So I don't need to create a request mapping here. Inside the run method, this run method is an operator of a command line interface. And this interface is clear, de define this method and it's not implemented in the command line interface. So I have to implement this method because I have to find this to implement. And you can see this override here. Inside this one, I have to put my code now. I need some other dependence for HTTP request. In this project, I'm using OKHTTP as a preferred method for calling the HTTP request in your web application. And I have to define the version that is installed in my compute. Only this one is required. I think no more dependence will be required. It depends on you if you are going to implement a big project with different configuration. So here I'm defining the client, and in this API, the client is defined. The client class is defined by this. Object P grand. So here I have instantiated the class and I'll call the method inside this class called the builder and a proceeding method that is built in order to return a grand object. And this line is called to create a request. And in a request, if you want to call a request, we have to pass inside a client. That's why I defined the first the client. Now I'm call. I'm defining the request. And then I'll call the request with the client parameter. Yes. 
the day. What if we are requesting we have to define the method that is the get? We have to define or we have to add the headers with this method. We have to add the URL that we are going to call the request, and finally, we have to call the do if you done config that your request. You have to put the URL and the URL provided in the description. You can copy the URL and in the query parameter, you have to put the phone number and on your country. But this API verify phone number from lots of countries. If the phone number is valid, then it return a valid phone number with some metadata but if the phone number is not valid then it's going to return an invalid phone number and in the header because you have to create an api key in the uh, api website you have to download this you have to download this or you have to copy this api key from a project that you created or that app that you created in the in the dashboard of your account. I, I have to have to copy and paste here, and I have to change this one. Sorry, it was a request, not a request, but it is a request. And if you see a red line, it means that it's error somewhere in IntelliJ. Here the request and the API key you can put it depend on your API project. So for script I not paste my API key. Now, in order to get the response that I will give you the response data, I have to, to call request with the client that we created. And in the current call, we have to pass the request. Now the exclude method will return the response and we can print the response both as a string Now I'm going to the apilea.com website so that I copy the API key and paste into my project as a parameter or as a header. I have logged in and created account. For any project you are going to create, you have to you have to create an account for the first time and you have to open this number verification API. And you have to copy here. Now I'm pasting here. So now I'm going to run my project. Run, run everything.
you can see now this is my phone number that is the first argument the first is invalid uh, valid that is true if it is valid or false if it is invalid the phone number local format international format country preference country report country name this is some kind from Tanzania and location and uh, some countries provide even the location but my country I don't say location in Kenya and